decided that I was gonna put my Marley twist back in because it's been raining like crazy. I'm tired of putting in a twist out, taking it out, and it being for nothing because the fog wants to just ruin all of my hard work. So, Marley twist it is. What's that on that mean? Oh. I went to buy some hair and some shampoo because I don't have any here with me. Well, now I do. In total, I bought nine packs of hair and I bought them in color number two. They were $6.99 and this is the Jamaica Braid brand. This is the one that I always get because it's the cheapest. And out here at the one that I go to in particular, they only have two brands of Marley hair and this one's the cheapest. So no no oh no <gasps> i bought some hair scrunchies that are big enough to hold my marley twist they were 2.99 and they're not in here i don't know why anyways i also got some shampoo this one is by cream of nature this is the argon oil uh, sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo. I feel like I've tried this before from what I remember it worked great This was the cheapest one once again $7.99 Smells okay. Nothing special if it was bad I would have remembered that it was bad, but apparently I don't remember anything being wrong with it. So it is 2.57. I know I'm gonna be doing my hair for hours, but I don't want to be up super duper late because for one, I have work tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, so I'm not trying to be going to bed at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. We'll see how it works out because usually that's what happens. This feels amazing. Shoot! Do I have to take my makeup off? Uh, okay, I'm gonna take my makeup off. And I'm gonna get in the shower, wash my hair, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay. I don't always blow dry my hair right before doing my twists, but my hair was really dirty and I didn't want to wait another day to put these babies in. So, for heat protectant, I use Cantu's Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. So I start off by parting my hair all the way across in the very back. I've never seen anyone start in the front before. That would be a little bit odd, but do what you want. After I have a small section like this set aside, I clip the rest of the section away with a clip. In this case, I'm using a duck clip. Next, I take one strand of Marley hair and I break it up. This helps make the twist look full and fluffy. If you want tight twists, I would imagine that you would skip this step. I chose three because I wanted medium sized twists. Not too skinny, not too thick. After you're done breaking up the Marley hair, you're going to want to stagger the pieces. Don't line them up with each other. Place one slightly above the other just like this. Staggering the hair adds length. The more you stagger the hair, the longer the twist will be. Now for the preparation. Use an oil of your choice to add moisture to your hair before you start twisting it up. It'll be in the style for a while so you want to make sure it's not dry. This time I chose to use castor oil. I've also used coconut oil in the past. Next, you'll add the lock gel, hair gel, or edge control of your choice. This is what keeps your hair and the Marley hair intact. Once you've applied your product, you are ready to start twisting. I'm going to give you a closer look at the methods you can use in just a second because there are more than one. Here's a tip. If you're looking to have looser, messier twists, don't twist the hair too tight. Loosen up your grip and don't pay too much attention to how it looks right now. Because once you boil the ends, it'll fix everything. In my opinion, looser twists look a little bit more realistic, similar to dreads. I'm usually struggling as I go further down. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, fast forward three hours and this is where I was, about halfway done and looking fantastic. Okay, one hour later, I was getting restless and hungry. Sometimes you gotta get up and stretch your legs because Lord have mercy. Here's a close up of what it looks like when I separate and stagger the individual pieces of Marley hair.
got a slice of pizza before I passed out from exhaustion. Here I'm going to show you how to do the braid method. You guessed it, you're going to start with a braid. This method is great to use if you want to wear these twists for a longer period of time without having to touch them up. It keeps your roots pretty tight and neat for a longer period of time, but it is a little bit trickier. To start, place the Marley hair on top of your hair. Hold your hair in between the two pieces of Marley hair. I use my pinky finger to grab my hair to bring it up and around one side of the Marley hair. It's kind of tricky, but once you've done that, you should be able to keep braiding like normal. Acrylics can get in the way sometimes, so take your time. I usually braid down about two to three inches before adding my little piece of hair into one side of the Marley hair and twisting the rest of the way down. You may have to add some kind of gel where your hair ends to keep it neat. You don't want your hair peeking out of the twist. I like to use the braid method all over until I get to the very top front of my hair. There I like to use the invisible root method because it makes it look like the hair is growing out of my scalp. And this is how you do it. After adding all your products, separating and staggering your Marley hair, separate your small section of hair into two and then place the Marley hair in between right in the middle. Take one side and twist it away from the other piece of hair. So away from your face in this case. I like to start with my left hand. While you're doing this, your right hand is staying put, but your fingers hold tight on the hair being twisted so that it's as tight of a twist as possible. Do that until you've gone down a few inches and then move on to the other side. You're going to twist the side in the same direction as you did the other. Now, take the first piece you twisted, in this case it's my left side, and cross it over the other. This secures the root. Another quick tip, use a duck clip or some sort of clip any clip of your choice really, to reduce tension on your roots. Clip it as close to the root as possible, especially on your edges, and continue twisting. So at this point, I'm on my seventh pack of hair. I don't think I'll use any more than eight, so we'll see. Hello. This is e Diva, <laughs> aka Felicia for the evening. Tell him. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just a taste. Just a taste. <laughs> <laughs> I got some I didn't get all the food I wanted. It is currently 10:56, and this is where I'm at. I have about four twists left. Now I have to boil the ends. So I'm, well, not right now, but I'm gonna have to boil the ends. So I'm gonna just get the water started so that it can be ready by the time I'm done. Oh, okay. We're coming live from the kitchen. I'm standing in front of my pot of boiling hot water and we are going to boil the ends of our hair because you see it's it looks good but it's poofy and boiling the hair will just allow it to compress and seal itself so that the twists don't come unraveled. It'll look a lot more neat, a lot more together. So I'm gonna dip this section first. Ow, you guys see this? So you do want to make sure that you have your towel ready for when you take your hair out of the hot water. Can't really see right now. So I'm going to dip the top half, I mean the bottom half. No, actually I should do the top half. No, I should do the bottom half. I'll just dip it in make sure. Oh my god, I have to get my towel. So much better. Ow! I burned my forehead. So I'm happy to say that I finished before 12. Yes! That was the goal. <laughs> 